Amy Matt here, and this is the year 2005. It was a different year for the WWE. Uh, WrestleMania 20, um, 21 was, I guess, ah, it was pretty good. You had uh, Roddy Piper, Motorhead. It was a good. It was pretty cool, you know. Uh, new champions were crowned. We'll get to that. Um, so here we have the Monday or Sunday Night Heat, which was kind of like the pre-show of now, I guess. Super Toot Guerrero with Psychosis and Super Crazy versus Simon Dean, the fitness trainer. You know, I understand that WWE had to pass to cater to children more so than adults. Um, whether or not this is more kid friendly. Um, I know when I was a kid, that's what the WWE was, you know? I know people knock on the gimmicks. I know they don't care about the gimmicks. Um, nonetheless. So, yeah. Here with two beat Simon Dean. You know, I kind of really enjoyed the whole multicultural, because that's what it is, World Wrestling Federation. And it wasn't just whitewashing, it was actual, you know, countries. Like these guys from Mexico, uh, originally from ECW. Um, I thought the dialogue they got from WWE when they came here, especially the light balls Mahoney, um, although cool, there was a lot of uh, a show of themselves. And that's kind of, I never really watched DCW, so I don't know the promos that Super Crazy would cut, but, uh... Anyway, so Hoofitude won. And you had the best of seven match. Booker T versus Chris Benoit for the United States Championship. I know that uh, Benoit and MVP did a match for the United States Championship. So this was kind of cool. Um, and Booker T won. So I think uh, Benoit won the match. Eventually winning the... Well, eventually winning the United States title. Um, unfortunately, there is no record in it, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, they have women's champion Tristratus defeating Melina in her first... Survivor Series match as MNM, Melina, Joey Mercury, and Johnny Nitro, aka John Morrison, who's a dick. I hate, I, I, I hate that guy. But meanwhile, Tristratus won, and she was accompanied by Mickey James, a woman that would eventually feud with her through the next WrestleMania. Uh, then we had Triple H for, uh, uh, versus Ric Flair in a last man standing match. It was nice and bloody, as I like it, you know. I remember the promo that was cut um, at SummerSlam. Or not SummerSlam, sorry. The promo that was cut on Raw, I believe. Because this was also the brand split. They had, uh, Triple H tell Ric Flair that he was gonna put him out in the shed and shoot him like an old dog. And then Ric Flair went nuts. Anyways, so this was a good match. Two Eagles going at it. And, and Triple H eventually won. Uh, duh. Uh, yes, using a sledgehammer. Then you had John Cena. Versus Kurt Angle for the WWE Championship. John Cena winning his first WWE Championship. You, you, know, you see these two guys who eventually became an arrival together. And it worked because they're both along the Patriot side. 
Americans, uh, whatever. Then, uh, it's John Cena one. And that's that. Oh, yeah, special guest was Davari, who was the manager of Kurt Angle. Um, I think they were trying to go for Kurt Angle turning his back on America, but this was a lame type thing. John Cena won anyway with Matthew. Uh, and then giving Davari an STFU after the match. And then you had a shit match. Theodore Long versus Eddie, or Eddie, Eric Bischoff. Uh, basically, GAM versus GM. This was a shit match. Theodore Long won, uh, or Teddy Long, I guess. You know, I, I, like I said, I don't care much for the Bischoff era coming into WWE. Um... Yeah, this was not... Sorry, I'm just rubbing my fucking eyes. Um... This was not... The, uh, WWE's... Way of being boring. In a sense, this was really boring. And the match... Yeah, like, nothing much to say about that. Then you had, um... The Team SmackDown versus Team Raw. Team SmackDown was Batista, Rey Mysterio, who I guess took over Eddie Guerrero, who had passed away a few weeks prior. John Bradshaw Layfield, Bobby Lashley, and Randy Orton versus Team Raw, which was Kane, Shawn Michaels, Big Show, Carlito, and Chris Masters. Chris Masters, uh, yeah, not much to say about him, I can't think of if that's the scholar guy or, no, that's, no, that's the strong guy, yeah, he is in another company, and I wish he would have gotten a championship at this point, at some point in the WWE career. Let me just check here. Yeah, that's the guy that I wish would have, because he was basically the strong man. Uh, so they got him, uh, Carlito, uh, his brother and a cousin are doing these whole stupid uh, Puerto Rico things, uh, making, giving out, you know, when a trip or whatever. I wish Carlito would come back. And be a part of it, but it is what it is. This was an interesting uh, pay per view. Uh, I'm not sure, I think I got it, but it's somewhere. Anyways, this was a good pay per view. Uh, next year's is gonna be fine, I guess. I don't know, I haven't. I, again, there's a lot I, I have, I'm reliving right now, and I'm sure I have it somewhere. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye.